I almost said, hey, everybody. But that's the mini me song. What's up, good people, AKA winners. That's what we do, ay, that's all we do, ay, 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 ay. I'm coming to you with another video, ay, coming to you with another video. Thicky, thicky, ay. All right, so I am in the process of filming two videos. I'm giving you guys a two for, which is a two for one special girl. Now, the first video that I started because I had to get this corrector laid down is, you guys always know, or you guys always hear me talk about the Makeup Forever R50. I happened to purchase my last one before they discontinued it, and it is the Makeup Forever R50, right? This is a corrector that I've been using for, I wanna say years, and they sent it to me originally a couple years ago, got hooked, and just kept repurchasing. And so, unfortunately, they discontinued this baby. And so we were trying to figure out why they were discontinuing it. And then lo and behold, I started hearing that Makeup Forever was coming out with a whole nother line of concealers. Now this is their Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. So I'm not gonna tell you which side I used each corrector on because then you wouldn't go watch the video girl. So I'm gonna need you to go watch her, okay? But we are gonna move on to the foundation and the foundation that I am talking about pause for the cause. The foundation that I'm talking about came from It Cosmetics. Wait, there you go. It is from It Cosmetics, girl. And listen, I gotta tell you something about her. So not only did they send some foundations, I'm trying not to make this fall out, but they also sent some skincare items. Now you guys know that I have my own skincare book on Amazon, so I don't really try a lot of um, skincare products, but my kids do. And so this is the skincare products that they sent. Um, they sent a gel lotion. It's a Hydra Plumping Skin Transforming Weightless Moisturizer, okay? So that is what it is. I don't know if you guys can really see that because it is literally like yellow and white. Check this out, y'all. This is a Heavenly Lux, I'm assuming, oh, face and neck citrine roller. I'm get, I don't know if this is supposed to massage your face or if you are supposed to apply your stuff with it. I'm gonna have to look that up, but that's real nice though. And then also in here, they gave us confidence in a cream for aging skin. It is a surface cell renewal, rosy tone, vitality moisturizer. Now, wait a minute, maybe not that roller, but maybe this brush I can use for my mask. So it is a, let's read it girl. It is skin hugging foundation brush. I'm sorry, girl, we're gonna use this for foundation. Do Listen, we may use that. And then lastly in the box, it is a transforming, rejuvenating, and firming super cream for the neck, decollete, and your chest. I think that um, I'm gonna clean the brush and I'll use it another time because I actually got a uh, beauty sponge from Target, but this is an Echo Tool sponge and it was literally, I got it for $374. I'll add the link to that in the description box as well, but I really wanna try that out today. And so in this foundation, it is called Confidence in a Foundation. Now girl, you know I'm all about confidence, right? Confidence, confidence is key, ladies, you know, know what, what I mean. mean. A, a woman, woman feels, feels good when she's, she's looking pretty. pretty. Hey, y'all know I'm about confidence. Confidence is key. So this says it's confidence in a foundation. It's oil-free for all skin types. It's long wear, weightless, and full coverage. You had me at full coverage. It's all day confidence and it has a velvet matte finish. I love matte finishes. Directions, buff one to two pumps of the foundation onto a clean uh, skin, onto your clean skin in circular motions. Now y'all know I'm doing more than one to two pumps. I like. Y'all already know, I love foundation. I'm generous with foundation. Come on, Cletus, come on, like, come on. Let's just keep it real. Now this one looks like it has an olive undertone. This one is going to be rich ginger. And yes, I already corrected and I already primed. So I'm gonna try to swatch back here to not disturb my corrector right there, okay? Cause I had to correct for the other video. Oh girl, she looking real good. That does look full coverage. Look at how that lays there. I'm thinking that she's pretty close. Uh-oh, so that was the second one. So this one is probably gonna be a little bit lighter. This one is Rich Natural, and that's what she looks like close to my face. But I think that Rich Natural is lighter than Rich Ginger, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna put it right here. Or, oh Lord, right here. Oh, I, 
yeah no that might be too light but i y'all see that olive undertone in there y'all see that green look at that you could totally see it right here it kind of has more of an olive undertone can y'all see it oh i hope this next one is like perfect because i don't think that either one of them are perfect but i'm loving 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 the coverage so far this one is rich warm now this is you know this may be the one are you the one like the matrix i'm thinking that rich warm may be her okay maybe even a mixture of a rich warm along with that and if i go any darker then it's going to be too dark i'm already knowing that and then if i go any lighter it's going to be too light because it'll be lighter than this one and then it'll be darker than this one all right so i think we're gonna go with this one right there and then also i am going to be trying the other concealer for makeup forever we already did the corrector in another video and another thing that i'll be showcasing in that same video will be me using the actual corrector and i talked all about why i got that color which i probably wouldn't just like gravitate to that color at first but at second it's cool i talk about more in the other video and look it it looks like it's a firm foundation i love really thick and creamy foundations it is not it's dripping now that i'm shaking it but girl i think we can be friends okay yes and i may have to mix if i have to mix we'll do so i'm thinking i may it does have a smell to it but it's not it's really not an overpowering smell. It's just, uh, it's just a foundation smell. I don't really know how to describe it, but it definitely doesn't smell like skincare or anything. I'm thinking I may have to mix this with another color, but then again, it could be one of those foundations that just kind of set and set just right. Like the Rihanna's, I start off looking like a Oompa Loompa and then life is okay. Now, I don't know why I always start off with this side of the face when I cannot see in my monitor okay she does give me a little bit of orange but do you see that fullness oh got a blender oh 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 you can tell i'm gonna do something about that but that even i have like a little um scar down here somewhere yeah she kind of covered her up this is definitely full coverage i think i'm gonna be okay you know plus once i put that super highlighter <laughs> a super light concealer on life should be great I really feel like I don't need another coat. It Cosmetics, if you did it, girl, listen. If y'all came through, I'm so proud of you if you did. Because we've been waiting for shades for so long. And then you just drop it in our laps. Like, here you go. I'll take it. I literally am satisfied. Ooh, look at that. Lord. Yes, that's orange. I went way down there, huh? But I am literally satisfied with the amount of coverage that it gives me but in CK fashion i don't really want to waste all this so i'm gonna take some more and i'm just gonna put it on oh it feels good though yeah. <laughs> and i like the sponge i'm definitely gonna grab some more matter of fact i think i'm gonna go on to um target online and grab some before y'all snatch them up okay <laughs> yes indeed that is great coverage and I can just, once I put powder and everything down here, I think that that'll blend it out. But if I wanted to get that perfect match, I think that if I do rich warm and rich ginger, I think it was rich ginger. If I do those together, it'll probably be perfect. So we are gonna go into this concealer by Makeup Forever and this is gonna be the number 43. The corrector I used was 51. And it's funny cause they went from 50 to 51. Like, can you just be consistent with us girl? So this is 40 and I told you in the other video about why I didn't get the 45 this foundation feels really good let me get you a little close-up action girl she cute like I like it so far just a little orangey but I can totally fix that all right so let's go on with this concealer in number 43 super duper golden and it's really it's really bright. This concealer is probably going to work great with this foundation being that it's not the exact shade that I need. Okay. Make up forever. Baby. Baby. I'm definitely going to get the 45. I like this. Oh my God. I'm telling you, these companies are getting better and better with products. Like, listen, $3. I paid $3.74, but it's regularly $4.99. But I would get like 20 of these. $4.99? Regular beauty blender is 20 bucks. And this is like regularly $4.99. You can get like four for the price of one. What? Go for it. 
So that worked out perfect, right? That totally brightened up that foundation because it was really kind of orangey. That really brought it together. So the trick that I'm gonna show you guys is I'm gonna take this, um, the other side that I used for the foundation, I'm gonna take that, right? And go back here and then kind of blend it together. And then here, I don't even think I need to contour because that was such a powerful highlight and I put so much. And so I'm just gonna take this black radiance powder and I am gonna set that. No, definitely no baking because first of all, it's self setting. And then second of all, I don't need it to be way bright cause that concealer is pretty bright. Now I usually use my BH Cosmetics powder, but today I'm actually gonna use this um, CoverGirl Full Spectrum. And I do have a video on the full line of the full spectrum by CoverGirl. And I really, really like the foundation and I like this powder. I've been using this powder a lot actually. And so after I set this, I will do the rest of my face, you guys. And then of course I will come back with the final look per the huge. This will probably be, well, let me not, let me not do a spoiler alert or not even a spoiler alert. Let's not even say anything until we see how this works to the end of the day. Now let's see what time it is. 1.38 is the time that we have and my beautiful family. So when I come back to you guys, it will probably be like 11 PM, 12 PM, because I do have my live jewelry party that I'm getting ready for. So I will see you guys soon with the final look. Okay, girl. So here is the finished look, girl girl and guys, who whomever's watching, okay? Let me tell you the lippy that I have on because if I do not tell you the lippy right now, you know that your girl is gonna forget to put it in the description box. This will help me remember, okay? So this is Morphe Cosmetics and it is in the shade um, Homecoming. Y'all know that my favorite, favorite lipstick of all times, especially because it matches my red hair a lot of times, is Nibble. But we kind of did a little homecoming today because I wanted to match my shirt and whatnot, okay? So a little brightness, but hey, spring has sprung, okay? So I am seeing my pores a little bit and I may need to use a pore filling primer. So, I mean, it looks good. It still really looks natural, but my concern guys, my concern, and we're gonna see at the end of the day, but my concern is, and I love doing these videos cause you guys get to see it like real. You understand what I'm saying? Like coming to you in living color, all right? But right here, you guys see how it's getting, like it's a little bit oily. So because I just did this, I think it will be fair for me to do like this, hold on. I'm gonna take that powder brush where I use my, um, my uh, what is it? The setting powder that I use under my eye, the Black Radiance, and I'm going to take that and I am going to get these corners because I can tell that with this foundation, I definitely need to set it and forget it and get up in those corners. So if I have to blot, I will let you guys know that I blot it in the final video where we're wrapping it up, the little wear test situation, okay? So I will see you guys soon. Bye. Right, so I told you that I would show you a close up of the skin. So you see, it's kind of just like showing my pores a little bit and I don't really like to start off like that, you know? But we'll see. So I will show you at the end of the day when all is said and done and I will give you a close up. Listen, Linda, let me see what time it is. It is, I'll show you guys up there. Um, can y'all see that? I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm getting ready for an event tomorrow. That's why my clothes are hanging there. It is 11.30 and baby, baby, I have not blotted at all, but mm, 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 mm. You guys, I've been doing this thing for a long time and I can pretty much tell when stuff is going to be oily and I had a feeling. Okay, all right, well listen. Since we come back to life like that, we bring good things to life. <laughs> so it came back to life and I ain't mad at it, okay? So you be the judge. Even the pores, they still kind of look mm -mm, like it's not all that great. But overall, not too shabby for almost 12 hours, especially when I blot. And this is the first time I blotted, period, point blank. So I'm not too shabby, okay? So you guys let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I gotta get some sleep because I gotta get up early in the morning, girl. But if you have not joined the fam bam, make sure you join the fam bam so we could just show you some love and welcome you on into the fam bam, okay? And you guys have an awesome, blessed day, in my case, night, and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Tiki, do me. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah.